unmistakable, a people's person, and a future billionaire. This is The Hustler's Corner with Smoosiso Liope, well known to you and I as DJ Smoo. Yes, we will in there Ibuza Waba Pambil. But it's always nice to also understand that you out there, you're not alone in this journey of entrepreneurship. It can get lonely sometimes, it does get a bit difficult. That's why we do all these different interviews. So you can get to hear what other entrepreneurs are going through. So out there, wherever you are, you get to be inspired to go out there and still believe that you can do your thing. I'm actually quite excited today because I'm with my tribe. Who is my tribe? My tribe is entrepreneurs, guys. Sanbonani and Sanugun being Elela, we are live on Business Day TV. Coming at you from Durban Business Fair, proudly brought to you by the Etel Union Municipality. And uh, this year's one, we all know that it's coming out of COVID. Lots of entrepreneurs that are behind me, that are on stage speaking to the audiences that are over there in those chairs. Those are also entrepreneurs. There's entrepreneurs around here behind those cameras. There's entrepreneurs over there at the radio station, Homegrown. And there's definitely entrepreneurs right here on Business Day TV and welcome to The Hustler's Corner. This is The Hustler's Corner with DJ Smoo, a special edition from the 2021 Durban Business Fair. I find other people's stories encouraging and inspiring because that's exactly what I do myself. I listen to other podcasts, I watch them, I listen to other people's stories, I read their books, just to always better myself. So. Sitting in front of me right here is an amazing entrepreneur who started a, a company of their own. She's a balanced melancholy, she's a perfectionist by nature, and she leaves no stone unturned. Having graduated cum laude with a master's degree in biotech or biotechnology, she's well suited to drive the company forward and keep it on the cutting edge. And the name of her company is Get to Natural Beauty. Products that you're seeing in front of me, ladies and gentlemen, the person that's responsible for them is Nosike Ramini. I'm good, I'm good. Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having me here. It's an honor. How did you start this baby? <laughs> How did you start this baby? Well, I'm the co-founder. And okay. uh, my sister wife, uh, Upumelele, transitioned from relaxed hair to natural hair. Now, unfortunately, she was bullied in school for uh, her hair because it just wouldn't grow. And in those times, it was the era of, you know, was Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, of course, she went on YouTube. By the way, guys, God, there used to be this textbook that we used to... <laughs> <laughs> you remember? Yes. So there used to be this saying, Whoopi right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so she looked at international brands, looked at YouTube and found that black women who looked like her had hair just as long as our white counterparts. And so we started buying uh, products uh, local and international. And I also transitioned from 16 years of dreadlocks to natural hair as well. Wow, and so, so you had dreadlocks for 16 years? 16 years and I cut it off. Kind of a <laughs> <laughs> and so the issue was, it's not that the products were not working. Mm. What happened is what worked for her didn't work for me. What worked for me didn't work for her. And so we identified with it. The one size fits all approach doesn't work when it comes to hair. Even though both Pumela and I are black, our hair characteristics are so different. So my characteristics can be uh, the length, the pattern, the curl pattern, the width, the list is exhaustive. But the most important one is how well does your hair absorb moisture? And then based on that, we have a porosity oils that is best suited for hair type yako. So you just quickly do a test to Ekaya, you get the right oil and my products that will complement the function of that oil. That's when we started. Why get to natural? I think for a very long time, we have struggled to embrace our natural hair. It has been seen as something that associated with being strong or being rebellious. And we haven't seen representation of our hair, which it is beautiful. And most importantly, we see women having the desire to grow natural hair, but they're frustrated. And they're product junkies that is having an excessive amount of products because they don't know what works for them. And so most women will feel like, okay, I can thank I am. Uh, let me just put it on a weave, right? There's nothing wrong with the weave, but if I get, not because you feel compelled, because you don't know or understand your hair. And so for us, it was important to help people get back to their natural hair. And how is the yeah. business going? 
Oh my goodness, it has been ups and downs, but fortunately the highlights of this year, the tests have come through, the laboratory tests. Because when we started, we just had a transparent bottle, black and white label that we just used. Just a sticker. Not even a sticker, mm. it's more. Mm. It, it's salo tape a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the thing that we used to wrap the label, but people bought the product. That's humble, humble beginnings. Exa yeah. Exactly, but as the vision grew, we knew which, this is not sustainable yes, long term. It won't be lucrative, it won't be appealing to the market. So that's when we started looking at, okay, we need a barcode, what does that look like? The labels, what, do, what does that entail in terms of the regulations, you know? And so then then we had to hold back most of the marketing, which means there was no cash flow. Mm. For over three years, putting the products through the laboratory, stability tests, micro tests, so that when we sell the product, we can say, ah, this, this, this stuff is backed by science. You can mm. test, you can try these products. We're confident which they do what they're supposed to do. Now it's just putting them in the shelves. Putting I get them you. in the shelves and to as much hands as possible. And when did you guys start? 2017, officially. Yeah. But we had been cooking our own concoctions at home before that. And so when we recognize this is a business, this is something that can actually bring us revenue, we then officially registered the company in 2017. What, may, what, what informed that this can be a viable business? When people started buying the products. I went on WhatsApp, we had no products, and I said, well, we've got the products, it's 38 oh, rands, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. then people say, we want the product. I am entrepreneurs, yeah, yeah. It seems like we always put the cart before the horse, yeah. Tina, that's how we work. Family and friends enjoyed the products. They saw the results. People saw the results, especially with the Pumalele, who most people knew that she's been struggling with her hair for a long time. And so we then started producing the oil. People were buying, we thought, ah, let's commercialize this thing. Yeah. Some of the most difficult um, things to do in entrepreneurship is finding the right partner. Absolutely. How do you even know that you've got the right co-business partner? Actually, you won't know unless you try. And I think we, you also complement each other. Absolutely. Your weaknesses, they cover you there, you Absolutely. cover them, vice versa. What is your superpower? Oh my God, detailed and organized. I'm very organized. Okay. And so for me, before we put the project forward, I have to know what the risks are. I have to know, okay, how, what are the specific steps we have to do in order to accomplish that. Whereas Upumalele, she's the creative. She can spend hours on end just creating different things. So if it was for her, but, but we would have a hundred products right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if it was up to me, we would only just have one because we're just working on the risks, only the risks. So we balance each other so beautifully. So once the risks have been identified, she can say, listen, it's enough, let's move forward. Uh, some of the most interesting things is also your background, where you yeah. come from. Yeah. Obviously that says a lot about uh, oh, sorry, that sort of shapes the type of person that you become. Yeah. This person who's going to run this business. Absolutely. Let's let's track back a little bit. Like, yeah. what was your background? What were you doing before you got into business? Well, before we business, I was just completing my master's in biotechnology. And at the time, I was still just uh, doing my thesis, almost my last year. But in terms of, if I look at my background, my mom has always been in business. She's been selling ikatulo. Even right now, if you go to she's still selling. <laughs> there are goats that she's selling. <laughs> That's so, my mom. Yeah. Absolutely. So, <laughs> That's exactly. my mom. Whatever it takes to feed the family, yeah. isn't it? And so it always been in our genes. How, how do you balance the family oh, life with the business as well? Oh, are they understanding? It has you have to be very clear. You know, even with my small sister, she just finished her matric and she's coming to get some work experience during the holidays. What's her name? Apiwe. Congratulations, Apiwe. You just finished matric and <laughs> Bongela. Welcome to the real world. Okay. <laughs> I said the exact same thing to her this past week. I said, welcome to the real world. Yeah, it's time when to she was the overwhelmed with the work. And so I was very clear with her on the phone. Getting, right now, I'm are uh, talking to you in the capacity of your boss. Yeah. I'm not talking to you in the capacity of your yeah. sister. This is what I need done. And then at the end of the day, I'll then say, okay, now my sister, how was your day? You know? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. you have to set those boundaries because um Danny can be uh, comfortable. Um Danny can take advantage of you because you're family. And where is this business going? Oh my goodness, top three Fortune 500. Ah, I like that. <laughs> I like entrepreneurs who know where their, visit, where their businesses are going. Like uh, the vision, guys. Yeah. The vision always has to be, even when you walk to your office, the, or when you look at your phone, you have to always be thinking about the vision every day. Yeah, yeah. it hurts me, Uguti, as South Africa, if you could look at the top five companies, the international companies, 
I don't have an issue with international companies, but for me, I will not rest until a South African company, specifically Get to Natural, is the top within its own country. Fortune 500 for sure. We want to be a household brand. I love that. You yep. want to be a household brand. You've got a niche. You focus on the yep. niche. You're perfect. You've perfected your product. I look yep. at you. I haven't used the product, but just looking at the packaging, yep. I'm blown away. Yeah. Because packaging says, buy me, buy Absolutely. me, buy me. A young person right now who's 18 or who's 19 or who's 21 wants to start exactly what you guys are doing yeah. their own product three things that you'd say yeah. what are the, some of the things that are crucial you think i know there's probably more yeah but three things that you'd say they can do well number one you can contact us because for us we're very passionate about helping south african companies secondly know what you want to do Know what you, who are you going to sell this product to? Define that. I was just thinking, no, 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 no. Sit down, look at the market, what's missing, you know, and then address that issue. One product, trust me, is enough to make you a millionaire. Mm. So let's focus on that one thing. Get out there and make connections. Come to such events like this so you can learn, make connections, get as much work in as possible. And trust me, the outcome will come. Thank you so much for his cut circles. Thank you, Boydi. Lastly, it's how do we honor. find your company? Well, it's G, the number two, and N, one word, G to N, or the full word, get to natural. The two is the number two. And it's at the bottom of the screen over there, guys. Thank you very much. This has been the uh, Hustlers Corner, coming at you all the way from the Durban Business Fair. And I'm quite excited to be sitting with people that are my tribe. Entrepreneurs, <laughs> hustlers, yeah. movers and shakers. Young people are doing great things <laughs> with their lives. Yes, <laughs> The question is, what are you doing with your life?